home built blast forge. Um, just kind of what it is. It's a forced air from a reversed um, vacuum cleaner motor through lit coals and as a result it creates temperatures of nearly 3000 degrees and a flame like you see. The thing is just about two feet tall made out of regular household bricks and it's filled with Kingsford barbecue coal and it works perfectly. Um, the flame coming out of there is uh, about two feet tall, just as tall as the thing itself and it's heating up right now, which um, it means it's about 2,500 degrees. I put a bar of steel on the bottom to see um, how hot it would get, depending on what color the steel got to. And you probably can't see it too well here, but um, the steel is white hot and it's sparking, which means it's near its, its melting point. It's like soft. I hit it on the bricks and it deforms. So I put it back in, but um, unfortunately I left it in too long and it melted all over the bottom of it. Which uh, it, it wasn't that it, it wasn't a bad thing, but it, it, I didn't want it to melt. Um, so other things I did with this, I cast aluminum, I cast lead mixed with tin, which is pewter. And um, right here, you see the pewter I cast. I cast it in the, this little metal dish. Um, I'm holding it with the glove because I did it like a minute bef prior, and it's still about 500 degrees. I touched it and I got burned. Um, stupid thing but it looks nice and I still have it and it's it, I could do this all over again I mean it's easy to build right here you see in that ladle that's sticking out of the uh, side of it it's um that's filled with aluminum not much aluminum it's just a ball of tin foil but the flames coming out of the sides that's because uh, I covered it up and there's so much air in it and the temperature is so hot that the flames actually extrude to the outside right now it's about 2800 degrees in there judging by the fact that it melted the steel in the bottom and uh, it's melting this aluminum in like five minutes. Right here, I'm about to pour it. The l the ladle is glowing red right now. Um, the clumpy stuff at the top that I'm trying to scrape off right now is just residue and uh, the coating on the aluminum foil itself. Um, I'm not going to show you getting it all off. But in here right now is a chain, just a typical steel chain. But I just want to see the temperature that it gets to to see the remaining heat in there. And as you can see, it's white in sections of course because the heating is uneven but um... I, I threw it back in just about now because the mitt that the oven mitt that I was using was starting to burn right here <laughs> these are the guidelines for building the blast forge um, it's easy to build took me fifteen minutes reached three thousand degrees and you can melt gold silver or any other precious metal and actually make money off of this thing just don't try to melt diamonds because they'll burn at fifteen hundred degrees